Hello guys, Jane M here with a new Blender 2.8 beginner tutorial for hard surface modeling. We are going to create this simple table, but as you can see, it is really functional. So let's get started with my favorite object, the default cube. We will use this as the table top. So I tap into edit mode, press S followed by set and scale it down. Okay, then I snap the view to the top. You can do this by holding the Alt key down while you are rotating the view with the middle mouse button and be sure to have the snapping set to increment. Alright, now we'll scale this along the x-axis. I press S followed by X and I hold the Ctrl key pressed so that we are snapping to the grid. It's a bit too thick so I select this face and use the Move tool to move the face slightly downwards. Okay, that's the table top. We can go with that. And now let's add the first kind of connector for the table legs. Again, I snap the view now to the bottom and add a new cube. And I do this in object mode. Again, I press the S key to scale down the cube. And this is a bit modeling by eye, that's okay. We don't have any measures, but that's a good training to see when the size of an object fits in relation to another object. As you can see, I move this around in edit mode so that the pivot point stays at the center. Because then we can add a mirror modifier later on to bring the same object to the other side as well. Okay, now I select this face and I want it to snap to the bottom edge of the tabletop. So I select snapping to edges, then hold the control key down and move the edge downwards and then you can snap it to this edge when you hover with the cursor over it. This face we move downwards as well using the move tool. Something like that. Perhaps a bit more. Okay, nice. Then I go to object mode again. And then add a mirror modifier for the x-axis. Okay, pretty simple, right? What we are doing here is we are adding the objects as they are in the real world. And in my opinion, this leads to better results for this kind of models. Then, for example, to extrude these connectors out of the tabletop, it looks just more realistic. You will see this when we are adding the bevels. Okay, now comes the next part. We have to select these faces of the connectors and then duplicate them to create the legs. So I press Shift and D now to duplicate this. And then I can press the S key to scale it up a bit. And when you move down these faces using the move tool, you can already see that there is a small gap so that the tabletop and the connectors can be moved up and down inside of these holders of the legs. But I want the legs to be a separate object, so I press the P key and choose selection with these faces selected. And then you can switch to object mode and select this new object. Great, again, I add a mirror modifier for the leg, so that we have this on the right side as well. But I want the shells of the object to be a bit thicker, so I add a solidify modifier. For this I check even thickness and then I decrease the thickness, because we want the thickness to be added in that direction to the outside. Perhaps I use 0.015, or perhaps even more. Yeah, that looks good. And now we can go ahead and create the feet of the table. First I apply the solidify modifier. And then I select this face and duplicate it by pressing Shift and D. I move it a bit downwards so that we can see it better. And then I press S to scale it up just a tiny bit. Okay, again I snap to the bottom. Then enable the X-ray mode so that we can see which edges we have to select later on. Again scale a bit up in X direction. Then enable edge selection, select this edge and move it to the left side till it snaps to this edge of the tabletop. Again hold the Ctrl key for snapping and the same we do for this edge for the right side. 
Okay, this is the first foot and you can see it is mirrored to the other side because we have the mirror modifier still enabled. Then I change to face selection, select this face and press E to extrude it downwards. Okay, nice. Now I want the end parts of the feet to be a bit rounded, so I go to edge selection again. Select these edges and press Ctrl and B to add a bevel and move the mouse wheel slightly to add more segments to the bevel. To select the faces of the foot in edit mode, you hover over it with the cursor and press the L key. Okay, I move the feet a bit upwards so that they are aligned to the legs. I also could have used snapping to edges to snap these parts to the legs. And now I apply the mirror modifier for the legs and the feet, which is one object. And now the basic functionality of this height adjustable table is finished. In object mode, I select both objects with the shift key pressed and then I move the whole table upwards. Alright, and now I want to make the table look a bit more crisp, so I'm going to add bevel modifiers. So select the tabletop first, increase the number of segments and decrease the offset. Nice, then I right click and choose Shade Smooth and then I do exactly the same for the legs and the feet. Alright, we are almost there but the only thing I like to add is a kind of stabilizing element here in between the table legs. So again I add a cube and this time I use the Transform to scale it and move it to an appropriate position. I enable X-Ray again, then move it to about that location here. And because of the X-Ray, we can see how much we have to scale that it fits the size of the legs. I scale it down a bit more in Z direction and that's fine. Okay, now to make it snap to the legs, I go to face selection in edit mode and use the move tool to move it and again hold the control key to snap it to the inside edge of the legs. Great, don't forget to apply the scale by pressing Ctrl and A before you add the bevel, because we scaled the object in object mode and this could lead to unexpected results. Ok, then add the bevel like before and yeah, we are done. Now you can move this tabletop up and down, because it's a separate object and for this stabilizing object I select Smooth Shading as well and I call this model Finished. In one of the next tutorials I will show you how to prepare this model for 3D printing. Ok guys, I hope you like these beginner modeling tutorials for hard surface models. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to JNM. If you haven't already, follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, support me as my Patreon if you like and I'll see you soon here in the next one.